Although abstaining from alcohol is of the utmost importance, it won't solve your problem. Excessive alcohol consumption is but a destructive symptom of yet another problem, the real problem, which is a polluted mind, a mind filled with persecutory thoughts from which we seek escape. After being seduced into believing that alcohol will provide the escape route we so badly seek, we develop the mental obsession. Now, however, we have crossed the abreactive threshold. So if we act on our mental obsession and continue to drink, we're going to experience an abnormal reaction. Mood swings, depression, physical sickness, emotional turbulence, etc, etc. So the message at this stage of our journey is the best way to escape our problems is to solve them. To solve our problems, we first have to identify and expose them, which brings us to step three of the philosophy, which states, come to accept that the locus of the problem is a mind infected with fear, futility, guilt and pain, the answer to which is a profound shift in the way we think. Step three helps us to home in on the destructive forces which drive us to drink. The destructive forces that destroy our lives. After conducting many surveys and utilizing my own ex personal experience, I learned that these forces can be categorized on the four main headings, fear, futility, psychological pain and guilt. I have aptly named these the sobriety saboteurs. Fear is inhibiting and comes in many forms. Fear of losing control, fear of being exposed, fear of what we did during blackouts, to name but a few. Fear is sometimes used as an acronym which states, forget everything and run, in our case, run to the bottle. However, as well as having founded fears, Excessive alcohol consumption gives rise to paranoia and many of our fears are unfounded. Fear is often a phantom. There is a German proverb that states, fear makes the wolf appear bigger. In other words, fear blows things out of proportion. When we have authentic fears, however, we should view them as a challenge and turn that challenge into an opportunity to grow. This way we turn our weakness into strengths. Remember, courage is not the absence of fear, it is a willingness to act despite the presence of fear. Next we have guilt. Guilt is probably very familiar to most of you. Remember, alcohol affects our frontal lobes in a way that gives us a feeling of not caring. Under the influence, we act out of character and often carry out acts that cause us great shame. At the time, we don't care, but when sobering up, we are overwhelmed with guilt and remorse. In order to counteract this feeling, we often revert back to the battle and the destructive cycle continues. Guilt can be utilised to enhance our lives. It can inform us of what we need to change. As, as Alexander Pope said, a person should never be ashamed to own that he has been in the wrong, which is to say that he is a wiser person today than he was yesterday. Psychological pain often comes in the form of unresolved issues experiences we've had in the past that cause us upset, mental persecution and emotional, emotional turbulence. Again, our answer is normally to try and drink them away, but after crossing the abreactive threshold, this no longer works. As physical pain is a signal from our body to pay attention to something that needs healing, so psychological pain is a signal from our mind to deal with issues that need resolving. Psychological pain is a signal that some pressing issue needs your attention. If left unattended, such 
such issues cause dysfunction. Unacknowledged pain saps your energy and veils your true potential. But when we resolve painful issues, we free up a vast amount of potential energy that can be used for other activities. Finally, we have futility. This was my own worst offender. Futility is a simple feeling of wondering why we're living. What's life all about? There seems no point. The problem here is negative thinking, or stinking thinking as we call it. Remember this phrase. Stinking thinking gives rise to destructive drinking. Change your thinking, end your drinking. There is no futility or boredom out there in the world. In fact, the world is a sphere of infinite possibilities and opportunities. Boredom and futility lie within you. They are the result of stinking thinking. By identifying and processing the underlying psychological patterns which give rise to the stinking thinking, we can start the process of serious change. To conclude, this video has given you a brief synopsis of the sobriety saboteurs. The advanced course will guide you through techniques and exercises to alleviate and eradicate your unresolved issues and negative thinking patterns. The fund fundamental message at this stage is the best way to escape our problems is to solve them. Just before we finish, however, one thing we can start doing right now is increasing our awareness. In particular, let's stop acting unconsciously and become aware of the triggers that compel us to drink. This technique is known as the ABC. A is for activating event. B is for belief. And C is for consequence. Next time you get the urge to drink, identify the activating event. What is it exactly that has knocked you off balance? Is it internal, a thought pattern? Or external, an actual event, an argument or sad, some bad news, etc. Now, identifying the accompanying belief. This will nearly always be something like, a drink will make this better because you are programmed to think this way. Recognize this as the voice of your sobriety saboteur, the part of you that is intent on destroying your life. Next, stop and think. How many times has drink solved my problems lately? How did my last bout end up? Think of the consequences involved in drinking. It shouldn't be too long before you realise that the destructive inner voice urging you to drink, the sobriety saboteur, is scamming you. Don't let it seduce you. There is only heartache if you drink. Realise this. Know this beyond the shadow of a doubt. You have crossed the abreactive threshold. Now take control. In fact, hand control of your life over to the wisest aspect of yourself. Say to yourself, my wise self is in control here. I will make the right decision. Which brings us to the next video, allowing life to unfold from the wisest aspect of ourselves.